So I'm sure you guys already know what the foundation that we're trying out today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. I bought mine in the color Amber and I did find a picture on Trend Moods Instagram. I'm sure you guys all know Trend Moods Instagram but I'll just leave it right here just in case you're not following it. You need to be following her. She just posts the best updates and every time that something comes out, something new in makeup, she will always keep you up to date on it. So I'll leave her Instagram right here. Definitely go give her a follow. I think I saw on her Instagram that she posted like a chart of matte colors versus Anastasia Beverly Hills colors so I will probably leave the picture right here but in that picture it said NC44 was the color caramel and then when I went online to the website caramel looked like it was so much lighter than me so I went with the next shade up which was NC45 which was amber. I am really quickly going to read off of the Anastasia Beverly Hills website just to kind of give you guys an idea of what this foundation is supposed to be doing. It says, a highly pigmented buildable cream formula that leaves a natural matte finish. Apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation as an all-over foundation. Sheared out as a tinted moisturizer or for highlighting and contouring. Available in 28 shades. Lightweight tubes are perfect for travel and on-the-go touch-ups. Ideal for combination or oily skin. And it says a shade for all skin tones. But you guys already know, Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite brand of all time. And if you don't know that, now you do. My favorite makeup brand is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like everything that she comes up with, everything that they put out is just so incredible. So, of course, when I heard that they were coming out with foundation, I was like, yeah, that's, I'm going to own that. So it goes for $25 and there is nine, no, did I say nine? I cannot... I can't read this. Looks like it is 9 grams or 0.32 ounces, which usually foundations are 1 ounce. But it is true that stick foundations usually come with a lot less because, I mean, of course, it's a stick foundation. So I think $25 for a foundation is really not bad at all. I think the Makeup Forever stick foundation has even less than, no, I think it has 0.44 ounces. And I think it's like 40 something dollars. So I think this is a really good price point. It is available at Ulta, Sephora, and Macy's, and available on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, of course. The fact that they actually have 28 shades in this foundation, I think, is incredible. I think shade range is super important when you're coming out with foundation, and I think they hit it right on the head. From the color wheel, they have warm, neutral, warm, cool, neutral, cool, just neutral. Like they have all of the undertones, all of the colors, any shade that you could possibly think of. I love that they came out with so many colors for a deeper skin tone. I feel like if you're a deeper skin tone, like this is going to be amazing for you because they really have a whole bunch of different shades. I feel like a lot of brands come out with like one deep color and they're like, well, this is going to match all of you. I think that's all I have to say before we actually get into the foundation first impressions. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a very... It's kind of a slimmer tube. The Makeup Forever foundation is kind of shorter and fatter. This one is kind of a little bit more skinny, which is perfect for contouring. I didn't pick up any shades for contouring or highlighting. I just picked up this one color. And it just says Anastasia Beverly Hills in like a rose gold color. And then here, of course, you just have a little rose gold stripe thing laying there. And then just the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo. I really like the packaging. I feel like it's very sleek. I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. You guys already know I... Oh my god, I'm dropping it. You guys already know I love this stuff. So since this foundation says it's good for more oily skin, I figure this would be a good hydrating thing to use. Because sometimes when things say that they're really good for, for oily skin they're like super drying and like cracky and gross. Then for my T-zone, I'm going to grab the Skin Refine Zone Treatment by MAC. And that's just going to kind of blur out my pores and just make sure I don't get super oily in my T-zone, which I always do. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the foundation and I'm going to draw it onto my skin. Kind of like I would do with the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation because the Makeup Forever Foundation, the Stick Foundation, I feel like it has pretty good coverage. So I'm just going to go off of that and then if I need to build it up, I will. But I usually don't like to put on too much foundation anyways. Yeah, this color is like a little dark. I don't know if you guys can see that. But at the same time, it's kind of... It's kind of the shade of most of my foundations, if that makes sense. I'm just going to grab a damp beauty blender to blend it out. I do blend out my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation with a beauty blender. I mean, I blend out I blend out all of my foundations with a beauty blender. So, of course, I'm going to try it out with a beauty blender. It's a little harder to blend than the Makeup Forever foundation. I feel like that one blends out, like, right away.
So this is what it looks like after one layer and to be honest, I am not, I'm not liking this as of right now. It kind of was really hard to blend. It has very light coverage. It feels like nothing on my skin whatsoever, but it also kind of looks like, like there's nothing on my skin. It doesn't really look matte either. I don't know if you can tell, but that could easily be from using a damp beauty blender. I think I might want to go over it with another layer and use a brush this time just to see how that will work. So again, I'm just going to do the same exact thing that I did when I first applied it. I'm just going to draw it onto the skin like so I don't I feel like I put a good amount so I don't think that was why this color um I think it's pretty good it's a little bit dark but it's nothing that's like extreme that anyone will really notice except me once I have my concealer and everything on the brush that I'm using by the way is a Morphe E6 brush I'm just gonna kind of buff no, see, even with the brush, it's super hard to blend. It's kind of stiffer. The Makeup Forever one is just super easy to blend. And the reason I keep comparing it to that one, by the way, is because that's the only stick foundation besides this one that I've tried. And I really, I like that foundation. It just doesn't last on my skin because it is more for dry skin. So I thought this was going to be, like, perfect for me. Okay, so this is where we are right now. Um, I would say that it looks really natural on the skin. Of course, it has, like, coverage. Feels light, even after the second layer, feels like there's nothing on my skin. Um, it's still really hard to blend even with a brush. And the finish, in my opinion, is kind of like a satin. I wouldn't say it's matte. I wouldn't say it's dewy. I would say it's more on the satin side. Um, but again, it looks natural on my skin. So for like an everyday makeup, this is something that I would definitely use. I definitely expected it to be more coverage. I don't know why. I don't even think they said anything about how much coverage it's supposed to have. But I expect it to be like, I don't know, fuller coverage. It definitely does not look bad. Um, I'm just, I feel like I'm a little disappointed just because I expected something different. But it's still not a bad foundation if that makes sense. Like my expect, like in my head, I imagine it to be a totally different experience. But it's still a really good foundation. This is still something that I would wear. I would still, I wear like coverage all the time. And I think it looks really beautiful. It looks really natural. It looks really healthy. So... I like it. But I am going to finish my makeup off camera. I do just want to tell you guys what time it is because we're going to start the time now. I did this in my last first impressions, but I feel like I take too long to do my makeup, so we can't even start from when I finish doing my makeup. We have to start from now because I take forever. So right now it is 1.29 p.m., so basically 1.30. I don't think you can... Maybe. I don't think you can see that. I got this picture from Instagram, by the way. I didn't. That's not my picture. Anyway, that's so random. It's 129. I'm going to go finish my makeup, and then I'll come back to tell you guys how everything wore on top. Sometimes stick foundations can be a little bit weird to put, like, concealer on top and put stuff on top. So I'm going to let you guys know how everything went over it, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I just finished putting on all my makeup, and it's now 245. I can't show you because my phone is charging because it was dying. But it's 2.45 now, so I told you it would take me forever to finish this. But this is what it looks like with all of my makeup on. I think it blends really nicely with everything. My concealer went on fine. I was able to cover, you know, anything that I needed to cover that the foundation didn't cover with, you know, concealer and stuff like that. So I think it looks really nice. And like I said, it is darker. But I feel like, you know, once you put your concealer on, your powder and everything like that, it looks perfectly fine so I am gonna wear this for as long as humanly possible I don't work tomorrow so I don't have to go to sleep early so hopefully I wear it for a long time for you guys like I said right now it's 245 so I've been wearing it for one hour now remember we're going from 130 I will check in with you guys once throughout the day and then once again at night if you guys have seen any of my first impressions you know that's what I usually do so I feel like I just spoke like 50 miles an hour so I will see you guys soon <laughs> Can you lower that? Yeah. Lower it! Okay, so it is currently 8.26 p.m. So it has been seven hours since I put this foundation on. So basically, I don't know if you guys can tell, I tried to get the best lighting in my house at 8.30 at night, besides my room. Um, so right here, you guys can kind of see on my forehead, like in the center, it's a little bit oily right here kind of by my nose creasel area it's a little bit oily but it's really not bad for seven hours of wear i would say this is amazing i haven't touched up i don't even powder my face usually when i do my makeup i just powder right in the t-zone so this is pretty damn good for some oily skin but yeah nothing's really broken up nothing 
is moving nothing kind of came off everything still looks pretty good for seven hours of wear but yeah so far if you have oily skin I would recommend this even if you have dry skin I don't feel like this is a matte finish so I think it would sit well on your skin and of course you wouldn't get oily throughout the day so I think this would be good but I will test it for as long as I possibly can let's see if Elver has something to say about my foundation do you have anything you want to say about my foundation how does it look So you like it? Yeah. You think it looks good? It's a good product? I guess. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable right now? Sure. Do you need help with the TV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I will check in with you guys in another couple hours. Be right back. Okay guys, so it is 12.03 a.m. aka way too late for me to be awake you know i'm a grandma i need to be in bed by like 9 30. so i've been wearing this foundation for a total of 10 and a half hours is my math terrible wait hold on no no that's right yeah that's right 10 and a half hours and i have to say i did actually powder in my t-zone not really my t-zone just like right on my forehead and just a little bit right here just because it was really oily and elver and i were going out to eat so I did that around 10 o'clock and I have to say even for having to touch up this still looks really really good. I wouldn't say it holds up as good or as well as some of my other foundations. I feel like I have other foundations that hold up a little bit better but this is still really good. I would still definitely recommend this if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin. I think you would still really like this because it's not so matte where it's like sucking up the moisture from your face i feel like it kind of sits really nicely on the skin feels like absolutely nothing feels like nothing probably one of the most lightweight foundations that i've ever personally tried i don't notice any of anything really fading on my skin you can still see my blush still see my contour everything is still on pretty much exactly how it was ten and a half hours ago minus a little bit of oiliness so and I'm really oily. So this is this is honestly really good wear for a foundation for 10 and a half hours. If you're looking for something that has light coverage and is kind of easy for touch-ups, easy for on the go, this I would definitely recommend. If you need fuller coverage, I would definitely not not go with this one because I, I think this is light to maybe medium coverage. Definitely not even anywhere near full coverage. At least on me, it didn't show up as anything more than a light coverage even after two layers. So maybe be wary of that if you have like acne scars or anything that you really want to cover up maybe don't go for this or if you do want to go for this for like an everyday wear maybe use some concealer so that is it for this first impressions video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram and snapchat all that will be left down below as well as some of my previous videos and everything that i wore on my face today that will all be in the description box don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know if you guys are thinking about picking up this foundation if it looked intriguing to you when this first came out i was just like absolutely know I had to pick it up because you guys know how I feel about Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think that that's all I have to say so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I am wearing right here which is obviously something that you want to wear like to school you know maybe to church maybe to your wedding something like that.